Oh man, social credit score. This is some real wacko, daco, cracko, dystopian nonsense. And there's a really popular TV show, Black Mirror. Uh, the first episode in the third series titled Nosedive had a version of this credit system where people would rate each other based on the interactions they've had with them. So like if someone snarled at you, you'd give them a one star. If someone was like really nice and happy, you'd give them five stars. And to be honest, you could argue that's how life is to some degree. Your interactions with other people do determine your success, but it's not directly measured with each transaction. And there's actually another episode of that same show, Black Mirror, related to this where the guy sits in a room all day riding a bicycle, which was hooked up to this sort of like electronic system and he'd gain points depending on how long and fast he rode the bike. And this is almost a grim look at our future. Everyone is going to be watched and will therefore be competing against each other in some sort of slave-like labor scenario, trying to beat everyone else out to be the nicest and hardest working. Problem is, people already have what they want. House, cars, property. So that needs to be taken away first, which is largely why they're locking us all inside and destroying the economy. It's not called the Great Reset for no reason. They want everyone to be at zero, otherwise, this ain't gonna fly. Of course, having people judge you is far different than having a government body judge you. And of course, there's downsides to both of those things. But that same government body making up this agenda, steering the sheeple off the cliff, locking us inside, making us suffocate ourselves with diapers, the greedy, selfish, horrific secret society members that are all working together for their own benefit, those are the people that will determine your social credit score, how the system works, and you better play by their rules. China's social credit system. It's been dubbed the most ambitious experiment in digital social control ever undertaken. The Chinese government plans to launch its social credit system nationally by 2020. Oh God, these millions of cucks are just gonna virtue signal themselves to death. Oh, I'm such a good little boy or girl. I always wear my mask when daddy ties me up. Oh, I always social distance except when I'm with my vegan fairy boyfriend. Plus, the only meat I eat is from daddy. <laughs> and believe me, there will be plenty of daddies and fairy boys if you let these clowns in charge continue their wacky daiquiri, including putting estrogen in the water bunch of freakazoids. Oh, th this is, this is, this is fucking crazy. This is absolutely nuts. A and someone commented on a Reddit post that China is 20% of the world's global population. You know, we can't let this become normal. Rewards and punishments. Citizens with high scores get to enjoy special privileges, while those with low scores ultimately risk getting treated as second class citizens. What's the aim? The system intends to monitor, rate, and regulate the financial, social, moral, and possibly political behavior of China's citizens, and also the country's companies, via a system of punishments and rewards. The stated aim is to provide the trustworthy with benefits and discipline the untrustworthy. You know, I, I think a better explanation for that is to reward the brainwashed, mind-controlled government slaves. The Chinese government considers this system an important tool to steer China's economy and to govern society. Just like the elite think it's important you wear a mask inside your home, but are partying it up in private. How does it work? Each citizen is expected to be given a social credit score that will increase or decrease depending on whether the subject's social behavior is acceptable. The system is expected to draw high amounts of data about each individual gathered from traditional sources, such as financial, criminal, and government records, and existing data from registry offices or school officials, along with digital sources. Is that why the sociopaths in charge set up LED lamps on every street post, cameras everywhere, new Wi-Fi towers to monitor you with EMF waves, because they use your internet search history? These psychos are monitoring what you think your body temperature, anything you can imagine. If people knew the truth about who is running the world, the millions of people in these groups benefiting from deceiving us, they would all have them up in front of a ditch 
with their social credit score system. They're pretending their oligarchy is a utopia. Then again, mouse utopia experiments resulted in some pretty wild stuff. At peak population, most mice spent every living second in the company of hundreds of other mice. They gathered in the main squares, waiting to be fed and occasionally attacking each other. Few females carried pregnancies to term, and the ones that did seemed to simply forget about their babies. They'd move half their litter away from danger and forget the rest. Sometimes they'd drop and abandon a baby while they were carrying it. The few secluded spaces housed a population Calhoun called the beautiful ones, generally guarded by one male, the females, and few males, inside the space didn't breed or fight or do anything but eat and groom and sleep. When the population started declining, the beautiful ones were spared from violence and death, but had completely lost touch with social behaviors, including having sex or caring for their young. So on this social credit system, they listed examples of gaining and losing points. Gaining points, charity work, taking care of elderly family members, positively influencing one's neighborhood, donating blood, praising the government on social media, helping the poor, having a good financial credit history, committing a heroic act. Now, some of these might sound like a good thing, but many charities are just elites pocketing money. Uh, that White Castle video I did a, a couple weeks back, you guys might have noticed I refused to donate to the White Castle charity, and then a homeless dude came up next to my car and I gave him a dollar. That's how my brain was thinking. Who knows where our donated blood is going? Of course we should praise our overlords and help the poor, who are actually in poverty because those overlords want them to be. Losing points. Traffic offenses, such as drunk driving or jaywalking, illegally protesting against the authorities, not visiting aging parents regularly, posting anti-government messages on social media, spreading rumors on the internet, insincere apologies for crimes committed, participating in anything deemed to be a cult, cheating in online games. They basically peppered in aspects of a tyrannical dictatorship with normally obvious stuff. Oh, you better not talk bad about the government and make sure you visit your grandma. Let's look at the rewards. High scores can lead to priority for school admissions and employment, easier access to cash loans and consumer credit, deposit free bicycle and car hire, free gym facilities, cheaper public transport, shorter wait time in hospitals, fast track promotion at work, jumping the queue for public housing, tax breaks. Okay, so basically lesser versions of the benefits the elite people already have. Punishments can lead to denial of licenses, permits and access to some social services, exclusion from booking flights or high-speed train tickets, less access to credit, restricted access to public services, ineligibility for government jobs, no access to provide schools, public shaming, exposure either online or on TV screens in public spaces of blacklisted citizens. And they've done this already. Spend frivolously and be penalized under China's new social credit system. People who waste money on non-essentials or behave badly are penalized under the controversial new ranking. China banned millions of people with poor social credit from transportation in 2018. People changing jobs too often could be punished by China's social credit system. This sounds eerily similar to what they're trying to do by mandating injections. It's kind of like a social credit score with arbitrary requirements made up by the government. Oh, if you don't get jabbed, then you're a danger to everyone else, so you're punished. You know, we can parallel what's going on now in America to this social credit system, and you know, this stuff has been planned for hundreds to thousands of years. You know, the way they're going to do this is scripted, it's regimented, it's difficult to believe that it's not going to work, but uh, Frankie Boy has better plans for himself. So thank you guys for joining me today. Definitely check out uh, those two Black Mirror episodes. Uh, I mean, those are years and years old, back when I actually used to have time to, uh, to watch TV and stuff, and I saw them. Uh, pretty interesting, and it, you know, it's entertaining, and you get a, a glimpse of reality almost. Uh, so if you guys do want to support me, please check out frank uh for all that stuff. Uh, above all, hey, just share the video on social media, drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, and uh, I will see you guys for tomorrow's video.